Hello everyone! I am the Crimson Cadaverous and this is Tank and we're wishing you a very happy summer solstice. Here in the northern hemisphere we will be celebrating the solstice on June 20th at 1031 p.m. Central Time and this is considered the longest day of the year. So that just means the longest um, amount of daylight in the year. So symbolically speaking, we can think about that as a time to have a bright, powerful light shining down on us because solstice actually means sun stands still because astrologically speaking, it looks like the sun stops in the sky, you know, where it's rising and falling. Um, it stops right around the solstice so it gives us this time to shine this like bright light down on our lives. So this is definitely a great time to reflect on what's been going on in our lives recently, you know, and as far back as the winter solstice and maybe even the summer solstice of last year. I've got some journaling that we're gonna do later um, that, you know, isn't so much an exercise, but again, it is kind of meditating and journaling um, regarding the solstice. And we're definitely gonna reflect with that on where we've gone and where we're going. And so as you all know, I love to read tarot and I love to incorporate tarot into any kind of discussions about astrological events going on to help us you know, understand and explain what's going on. So I've of course pulled some cards today from my Wonderland tarot that we're gonna discuss. Um, and you'll see them here, but I'm also going to put them up here in case you want to zoom in on the imagery and uh, meditate on it. I definitely suggest doing so. Um, as I said, it comes from my Wonderland deck, which is based on Alice in Wonderland. So it's very fun, whimsical, adventurous imagery that you'll find there. It definitely helps tell the story a little better. Um, so in honor, of course, oh, looks like Tank's leaving us. Bye, Tank. Just a little cameo appearance, of course. He's going to go wreck havoc somewhere else. So, of course, the first card that I pulled is honoring the longest day of the year, um, and that's the sun. So the sun represents just as, you know, you would expect the giant ball of fire that um, we orbit around. It represents that, but it also represents everything that that symbolizes. So there's enthusiasm, there's clarity, you know, getting the light shining down on things. Um, their self-acceptance because, you know, when you think about the sun, it um, also represents their sun sign in, ast um, in astrology, which basically the sun sign is your true self. So again, self-acceptance, you know, with the sun shining down on you, but there's also joy and celebration. Um, and basically the message of the sun is don't be afraid to shine. Don't be afraid to be you and show the world who you are. Um, and there's also a sense of peace and unity, especially now, you know, during the solstice when, you know, the energetic waves are kind of aligned and, you know, there's these waves of like harmony and peace if you can tap into it. Um, so definitely the sun um, is definitely going to inspire us during the solstice and we want to honor the sun. I actually, you know, pulled some of my candles, my chakra candle, but also my candle. Um, that I call the sun. Um, I make these meditation candles. Um, and if you're interested in them, I um, will have a link for my Etsy in the description if you would like to get one of them. Um, so the next card that I pulled is the Empress. And so if the sun represented a masculine energy, oh, oh, we've got another cameo appearance. But I think we're just hanging out, okay. All right, I think we're just hanging out. Anyway, so if the sun represented masculine energy, you know, kind of like our friend Tank here, the empress is going to represent our feminine energy. So each of us, you know, whether we represent as male, female, other, um, we all have masculine and fem feminine energies within us. So, you know, you want to balance out the two. So with the Empress, we have, you know, the balancing out of the masculine with the feminine energy, and she represents Mother Earth. And definitely, you know, on the day of the solstice or any time around it, I definitely encourage you to go out and enjoy Mother Earth. You know, the world is so beautiful. There's so many beautiful animals and flowers and plants. 
Um, Mother Earth definitely, you know, gives us a wonderful show and we should go appreciate it. You know, take off your shoes, walk in the dirt, you know, like feel the earth. I definitely suggest that on, you know, the solstice or really any day that you can do that. You know, it's so important to connect with the earth. Um, I also um, feel, you know, really connected to the energy of the nature and nurturing of the Empress. You know, she represents also fertility and creativity and abundance um, and comfort. You know, the comforts of home. You know, that's what you think about with mothering. Um, so definitely, you know, make space, be enthusiastic, like the sun wants you to be joyful, but also make space to, you know, nurture yourself. That's very important. So again, you know, if we are balancing energies out, I pulled the card, you know, you would call it the card of balance, um, at least the card of juggling, he's juggling there. Um, so it is the two of oysters, which oysters is, um, representing the earth and earthly possessions, tangible things. Um, so we definitely want to balance out with, you know, all this um, astrological energy that we have going on with our, you know, masculine and feminine energies. We want to see what we can do to balance everything out in our life and really consider our priorities. This is definitely a good time. And, you know, like I said, I've got some journaling prompts to kind of go along with that. Um, but this is definitely a good time to consider our priorities and what really matters to us, especially after the last year or so that we've experienced of a pandemic and so many crazy things going on. You know, our priorities are shifting and we need to honor that and, you know, adjust possibly how we're living our lives. Um, so like I said, you know, I did have some journaling prompts, you know, instead of an exercise today, but I definitely think, you know, these are some things that you should meditate on, journal on, and really give some thought to um, as we have this kind of like halfway point in between the year, you know, with the solstice, but also, you know, this kind of like ending of a certain time and beginning of another time. So, you know, we're ending uh, the spring and Gemini season and we're going into summer and cancer season. So we definitely want to, you know, do something kind of ceremonious you know, to honor that, even if it is just kind of looking at our milestones, looking at we've, where we've been and looking at where we're at now. So I have five things, which I'm actually going to put these questions in the description as well, just in case, you know, that's easier. You're a visual learner versus hearing things. Um, but there's five things I want you to ask yourself, you know, meditate on it, journal on it, you know, however, you know, you express yourself. Um, and the first thing I want you to journal on is, you know, given the fact that this is a longer day, what would you do with an extra hour each day? If somebody just said there's 25 hours in a day instead of 24, what would you do with that? Next, I want you to ask, how can you balance your priorities so you have extra time? So almost like, you know, if you change your priorities, if you change the way you were doing things throughout the day, um, could you actually free up some more time and really kind of give yourself an extra hour? Um, time is just a concept we give to ourselves, right? Um, and also with that, ask yourself, do you spend your time wisely? Are you getting distracted? Are you doing things that really aren't serving your higher purpose that you don't really need to do? Um, maybe that opens a discussion for yourself about, um, you know, how to reprioritize your time. Um, and then we want to talk about the past and the future a little bit and kind of just touch base. So what has changed since the last winter solstice, which would have been December 21st, 2020, and the last summer solstice, which was June of 2020. So think back to both of those times and think about all the things that have changed in your life. And actually I suggest thinking about the winter one first, the one that was six months ago, and think about everything that's changed since then. You know, and you'll think about, you know, maybe like your growth period or growth that you've had in that period. Um, but then go back maybe a year later, or you know, a year ago to the summer solstice last year and think about where you were at and think about what was going on in your life and how much has changed since then. Um, and the last thing I want you to journal on is what do you want to be different or what do you think will have changed by the next solstice? So
So again, go to, you know, the next winter solstice, um, which I believe is Je December 21st again of this year, you know, 2021. And then again, next year, you're going to get into June um, with the summer solstice and go, where would you like your life to be then? Um, and so, like I said, meditate on these things, um, journal on them, however you express yourself, um, you know, get it out. That's always very helpful. Um, but remember that, you know, with this being the longest day, it's a great time to shine a light on things and really consider, you know, where you're at in your life and where you want to go. Um, you know, we have to definitely afford ourselves that space right now, I think. Um, so I want to thank you all for listening to this video. Um, if you've gotten this far, definitely please like it um, and please comment. Um, you know, I do do tarot readings, as you know, I've mentioned. So if you'd like a tarot reading, please reach out to me. You know, I really, I love giving tarot readings. It's really rewarding. Um, I also love making my candles. Like I said, I have these. My candle, this one's called the sun. This one's called chakra candle. Um, and there's suggested meditations with them. I'll put my Etsy on there. Um, and again, I hope you all have a wonderful summer solstice. And I hope you let the light shine in you and out of you. And much love to everyone. Goodbye.